Katie, you were terribly upset, weren't you, when after you'd been invited to yeah. uh, switch on the lights, I think through work that you'd done for a charity, yeah. uh, you were then unceremoniously dropped because there was this huge petition saying that you're not the right role model for local children. Um, what did you feel? Um, I, do you know what? When I got asked, honestly, mm. um, as it is an event for all different ages and for different types of people, I was quite shocked as well. But I was really, you were really shocked honoured. to be asked in the first place. Yeah, right. I, a little bit. But if anything, I was really honoured. You're and local. I, I'm local. I'm from Hertfordshire. Right. Yeah, I live five minutes from the town. Um, so I was really, really honoured because I thought it was a really cool thing. And my mum was all excited and stuff. Um, I understand that not everyone would want me to do it, but it wasn't just the petition that upset me, it was the comments that came with it. Um, I was getting told by mums that I weren't the right role model. Mm. However, they were then trolling me, um, which then doesn't make them a role model. So I just found them being hypocrites. Well, that's an interesting point. So, I mean, bearing in mind the time of the morning and that children mm. are watching, what sort of trolling comments did you get? Um, I don't know if I can say the word. Well, you probably can't if you think no, you can't. No, I can't. But, but, um, but if they're that bad that you can't say them on breakfast television, yeah, it suggests they, they they're were, offensive. I'm, I'm quite strong-minded for a 22-year-old girl. I don't, it takes a lot for me to cry, and it actually resulted into me uh, on my Snapchat with my nearly million followers actually in tears crying. I even got told by a mum that I shouldn't be allowed to stand next to Father Christmas like I'm some horrible girl. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, Anna Mae Mangum, why should this young lady... Look, I'm not Love Island's biggest fan. In You're fact, not a fan at to all To put it mildly, I thought it was utterly cretinous. No offence, Now, Kate, I, loved, right? I love Love Island. I've right. got no issue with Well, let me with finish my question to you first, right? So I'm, I come at this from an interesting position where, actually, although I detested the programme and all that it stood for, I also don't think this is right. I don't think the council should be banning this young woman who's clearly very popular with a large cross-section, particularly of young people in, this, in that area and the country, should be banned from just turning on Christmas lights. Why would you want a ban? But the people that Katie is popular with are not the people who will be standing yeah, yes, for the are. Christmas tree lights to be it's turned the on. They're going to be little children with pom-pom hats on and mittens. And when they say to their mummy, mummy, who is that lady? You try explaining it. I mean, I'm I, sorry, I, but, yeah. sorry, but what that programme, that doesn't define me. Love Island doesn't define me. But that's why you're famous. No, yeah, it gave me the platform, but I'm now an ambassador for two brain, for brain tumour research and for an animal sanctuary in Morocco, which I volunteered for well, for three weeks. Well, I see weeks that more as rehabilitation for having sex I've on live I've now got three businesses, which one business turned over half a million in six okay. months. Well, I'm, well, I'm, well there's a point there. So she says that that's, that's rehabilitation and that's having sex and on live TV. All that. I, mean, I mean, let me ask you a difficult question, Kelly, right? Here's the hard question. Do you think that somebody who basically has become famous in this country for having sex on live TV is a good role model to children? Yes or no? What I, do you think? I, that, I, when people think of me, I don't think people go, oh, when I think of Katie, she's had sex on telly. I do. Well, a million people that, probably do. No, they don't. But, for, for but that, that, that's all I know you for. I know, but I was on a program, okay? I got asked to go on a program. I was very, I was once in a lot of But you did have sex on TV, right? But it wasn't. Cameramen, there. I was with someone that I loved for six weeks. Well, let's just. And part of the relationship. Let's clear the table and bring I'm him sorry. in. There. I'm still with him now. I'm still well, with him now. Well, that is the purpose right. of love. I'm still with him now. You are still in yeah. a relationship with him. And also, guys. I don't think we should be attacking you no, for that. No, but what I mean no, I is that if you're with someone for 24 7 for six weeks, a part of a relationship is having sex. There wasn't cameramen watching me. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. But that doesn't make you appropriate for the Christmas lights. It's like bringing Magic Mike in to do the Scout Jam. It just isn't... It's about appropriate. I'm sorry, but I got asked, actually, because I'm an ambassador for the Brain Tumor Research. Okay. I understood you were getting paid for it. It's, 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 it oh, so that's matter. not charity work, okay. is it? it yes, it does. Because you, council you don't know taxpayers... What I, do my money. You don't know what I, I don't know do what you're going to do, but I know you agreed to be paid for it. I've raised thousands and thousands for, this, for two charities, and I've done a lot of I work. I think that's amazing. And I got asked, remember that. Right. Um, I don't think councils who are cash-strapped and can't look after old people should be paying celebrities from A to Z to turn on Christmas what lights. What if a celebrity did it for nothing? Yes, that's absolutely fine. And a real celebrity, not somebody who's infamous as opposed so to... So, for example, I've demand... just been booked to do my first ever <laughs> Christmas lights. Awkward. Right? <laughs> so my, my cousin, <laughs> my cousin who lives down in Stockbridge in Hampshire has booked me to do with a wonderful chap called Alex Lewis, right? So on, on December the 1st, a Friday, I will be doing the Stockbridge in Hampshire Christmas lights. Now, Anna May, very difficult question for you on national <laughs> television. Do I fit your criteria? Um, 
No, I don't, think really? you're, I don't think you're wholesome enough. Are you going, going back to start to... a petition to stop? <laughs> you don't think you're wholesome enough? <laughs> going back to well, Katie. Could, other than Mother Katie, Teresa I'm being sorry. dug up, who would, who would fit can we your go, criteria? Can we go back to the issue, though? No, because because I think we love Ireland. Because I want to know why you don't think right, you so, should do the line. So I'm not allowed to either. Who do... no, I'm not saying people are not allowed to. Give me the name of somebody... I think she should turn the lights off. I'm not famous for anything. Right, so who is famous that would fit your criteria? I think it should be people, they're sick children, who'd love the chance to turn the lights off. It's about Christmas. Give me a celebrity. Why are we talking about celebrities? What celebrities do is they bring media attention. That's why people like celebrities, right? They bring media attention to local places and calls. Yeah, OK. Right? So, so anyone, give me a name of a celebrity that meets your um, ethical I'd have bar. A, maybe a local soap star. Who? Um, I don't know who's in, who's local to Welling. A local soap star? Yeah, somebody like who... who? Some, an actor or an actress who's well, from me, Welling. Give me a name from Welling. Well, I'd, I'd choose someone from Coronation Street. Well, go on, who? Uh, Fizz. Let's have Fizz. Fizz. She's off on to, gone to... Yeah, she's Fizz OK. from Coronation People, Street. People she's popular, she generally meets... well-liked. You see, I, th here's where your argument falls down to me. Why, Why is Fizz from Coronation Street... Any better or worse qualified to? No, that we're not turn having that discussion. We're having a discussion then, about whether Katie should Katie be doing it. Then Katie from Love Island, who and I'm not a massive <laughs> fan of you or your no. program. Can I, can However, I, I'm, I'm oddly, I'm now defending you <laughs> Piers, on behalf speak? of people banned from I've doing Christmas I've got really lights. early to come and speak, and you're not letting me. My other objection oh, to Katie God, 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 God. is that she's talking about how upset she is about being trolled. When you have a million followers, mm. do you think everyone's no, no, going to love you all the time? You're missing the point that some of those people who didn't want her to appear then used language that, yeah. that wasn't... Well, trolling is... Yeah, but yeah. it's kind of an occupational hazard when you're on social media because yeah, you're in bad company. But what, what, what's upset me is these mothers or whoever these people are saying that I'm not a role model, which is fine, I don't want to be... I don't have to be everyone's role model, but then they start calling me names. Is that a role model to their children, then? No, that's wrong, exactly. too. So that's that my point. Wrong. I'm not calling upset. you names. I'm saying that's you're entirely upset. inappropriate for the job and well, that a lot of people... The council, a lot so of people wouldn't recognise Love Island stars that. when they've got their clothes on. That's the truth. So would people even know who you are? That's ridiculous. Thanks very much for talking to us.